Hi everybody, TJ Mac Vintage Cards, and today I'm doing another video where I'm showing off my room where I display my cards and magazines and some of my figurines. And I don't really call it per se my card room, I'll title it that way, but it's really a room that's utilized by the family. Um, kids play video games in here, they have friends over, and uh, it's a room where they also um, you know, watch movies, we watch movies as a family, there's a screen where they watch them on. And then we got like a unit up there that shows all the videos and everything. And you can see over in the corner here my magazine rack. And then I have these various card cases on the wall where I just display just different cards in my collection. Not the most valuable cards necessarily, but um, I collect very much with a purpose. I've talked about that in my videos and I don't have a super huge collection. But every card that I do have has a place in my collection and they do get displayed in this room at some point. So I, I probably have, I don't know, 2,500 graded cards, something like that. And um, th this room will hold about two, over 200. And um, so I could put out just um, under 10% of my collection at any given time, my graded collection at least. I do have some sets as well, but this is why I really, you know, like the, the approach I have to collecting works for me because it gives me the ability to do what I like to do, and that's uh, show off um, my cards where I can enjoy them. Not show them off to other people, because I don't really have a lot of people come over to my house per se, but I just like to have the cards in the room as just an expression of what I enjoy about card collecting. And um, it's just really that connection with uh, the history of the game, and uh, the cards allow me to, um, to live that and, and, and enjoy that. So this, this right here is a, a figurine I showed this last year when I showed off the card room for uh, Jake uh, Legends Never Die uh, video response contest. And this is the 77 Cowboys team from the Danbury Mint. And you can see the different players. You got Billy Joe Dupree, Tony Dorsett, uh, Drew Pearson, Roger Staubach, Tony, sorry, Tom Landry, Charlie Waters, and that's uh, Harvey Martin, Cliff Harris, Mel Renfro, and Randy White on the end. You can see the 77 Cowboys in the placard right there. One of the great teams in Cowboys history that beat the uh, Orange Crush uh, Denver Broncos in the uh, 78 Super Bowl, but it was a 77 season. And then over here is a uh, magazine rack. This um, I had put together once um, we got several magazines from my late father-in-law's. I say collection, he didn't really collect them. He read them over the years from the 50s into the 80s. And we got several hundred magazines. Um, this displays just uh, 12 at any given time. And I change it out quite frequently. So you can see up here, this is a 51 Sport Magazine. Uh, great Baseball Jubilee. It's got a lot of the different players of the day there. Then you got Eddie Matthews signing a baseball from the early 50s. Um, there you go from uh, 52 MVP, Bob, Bobby Shantz. That's a 53 Sport Magazine. There's Ted Williams um, with the Senators. I think that's from 1969. Got an old sport magazine with the Mick on the cover. There's uh, Warren Spahn, Johnny Wujak, and there's uh, Kenny Stabler, Terry Bradshaw. Big fan of the uh, 70s quarterbacks. You got uh, Joan Amoth down here. I think that's from 72. Love Burt Jones. He's one of my favorites from that era. That's his MVP season, 1976. And then a uh, shout out to my uh, good friend, Brian Bears Card 34. He's a big Merlin Olson guy. Um, he went to one of the Utah colleges. I wanna say Utah um, was where he went to. And um, Brian's from Utah, so he collects uh, players that went to uh, the Utah schools. So I just wanted to shout him out real quick. Just uh, love these magazines. And I keep different ones behind them that I switch out. Uh, let me grab one here. Like here's a one with Deacon Jones on the cover. So here's another one back here. So I have, like I said, you know, several hundred different magazines that I just like to display and enjoy. And then up here is a Dallas Cowboys case that I have on display right now. I'm a Cowboys fan. And you can see Tom Landry leading the way off. Uh, here it's a second year Bowman card. Don Meredith. I'm not going to name all the names, but you can just see what I'm doing here. And I'll show off different uh, these cards in other videos, and I've already shown some of these cards in some videos. But I'm a big Cowboys fan, so just like to capture the history of their team here. And 
And the few on the end after Emmett Smith there, the Tony Romo and Zeke and Dak Prescott are from my son's collection. I just have them uh, on display right now. Just kind of merging um, his passion for cards with mine in this room. He's got his own couple of his own cases in his room. But I like to, um, you know, show some of his stuff off too a little bit. And then in this other case up here, and you're going to get some glare, and I'm sorry about that, but this is my Yankees case, just different Yankees cards that I have. Again, I'm not going to go real close here. I've shown these cards off some of them, and I got a lot of videos planned in the future where I'll show them off again. And uh, if I haven't, um, like I said, shown them before, you'll get more close up detail on these cards. But just give you an idea what I like to do. So I'm a big Yankees fan as well. So there's the Yankees case. This is my 1960 Topps baseball case. This is all, the only like set, uh, key card set that I'm showcasing right now in this room is the 1960 Topps baseball. The rest are just like compilations of different things I like. Like I said, the Yankees or the Cowboys. But these are just some of my 1960 Topps cards. I plan on doing a more detailed video on this set. And uh, for those who watch my channel know that I have all the key cards from 1956 to 1989 Topps that I display just over time in this room for baseball. And it's just uh, really the foundation of my collection are these key card runs. And then now I'm just adding a lot of different cards um, on top of this foundation of cards that I've built that um, just showcase other things that I'm interested in. Like right now I'm doing the year of the picture, 1968. So I'm adding some different pictures to the collection and things like that. Did a little video on this a little while back showing off uh, headshots from tops from 1957 to 1989, uh, minus 1960, 1983, and 1984, because I didn't do headshots in those years. And 60 they did, but they were, um, they're um, uh, vertical or horizontal cards, I'm sorry. And I just wanted it to look like an art piece. So I got all these different headshots throughout the year. And again, I did a video on this, but I, I said in that video I was going to put this on display, and that's what I've done. So you can just see all the cool tops headshots. I got some other ideas that I'm going to do with some different uh, types of cases I have from my uh, just different cards from my collection. And then over here, this is just uh, showcasing some of the statues in my collection. Uh, Signed Kareem Abdul-Jabbar piece, Magic Johnson. You got uh, my favorite Cowboys, some of them anyway. Staubach, Emmett Smith, and Troy Aikman. There's Kurt Warner. Um, I just saw American Underdog not too long ago with him in it. What a great movie. And then you got Barry Sanders, Peyton Manning. And then just some different guys down here, A-Rod, uh, Griffey, Sosa, and then Derek Jeter. And then uh, the home run guys in Bonds, McGuire, and Maris. And this is a Ty Cobb piece that I got on my uh, honeymoon years ago, many years ago. Too many, unfortunately. And this is the uh, 50 card display unit that I have where I put in some of my favorite baseball cards. So you can see here showing some of these off recently these are ones that I really enjoy uh, very much some of my favorite cards and again nothing to do with values more so just to do with cards that I just like the artwork on them I like the players I like the image um, whatever it may be just cards that I enjoy and I have 20 baseball and then here's 20 football cards Love that Dickerson. He's got all that gear on. Just a great card. 80 tops, Walter Payton. It's a Butkus rookie. And then just some of the big time hockey stars over the years. Love this case. This is like a case I do a lot of different themes in, but this is the one I chose to do at this time. And a lot of autograph figurines and balls in here. You got George Brett, Schmidt, and then Bench. And then there's a Reggie Jackson autograph ball. And you got uh, Whitey Ford, Hank Aaron, Sandy Koufax. And below that, you got Mickey William, the Duke. There's a Mantle sign ball back there. 
and then Ted Williams, uh, DiMaggio Musial. And the ball back there is the DiMaggio ball. And then Ruth and Gehrig. And then in the bottom, you got the big train, Walter Johnson and Ty Cobb. So I got stars of like the dead ball era, the 20s, the 30s, or 20s and 30s, I guess, with Ruth and Gehrig. And then 30s and 40s, even into the 50s, I guess, with those guys. And of course, Willie, Mickey, and the Duke. Some of the stars of the 50s and 60s there and then 70s and 80s up top. It's pretty cool. And this case here is all non-Hall um, Hall of Fame football players that I just really um, have connected with just based on my research and enjoyment of the game. Just have a passion um, for the sport of football and baseball like I've talked about and hockey even as well. And I just have a lot of different themes I'm gonna be working on with these cards. But right now, the theme I have here is I call it uncommon commons, even though a lot of these guys aren't common players, but these are guys that often get overlooked in the hobby, I think. And I'm just glad to have, uh, you know, their cards represented in this case because these are players that I've really enjoyed watching or reading about over the years. Oh, there's a lot of glare here, but just giving you an idea. And here's the baseball version of that. Just different players that I like. Not one of these guys are in the Hall of Fame. Just a, a very fun part of my collection that I've been putting more and more of my hobby budget into because I just love the game of baseball and I just enjoy very much um, learning about different players and then having those reflected in my collection. So just having a lot of fun doing these. You can see uh, Fid Rich and Pete Rose and love Dale Murphy growing up. Uh, the Cobra, Dave Steeb. Just uh, so many great players here. Showing this piece off a few times, it's always on my wall. This is um, Archie Wilson, who's a relative of our family, my wife's family that played for the Yankees. And he was Mickey Mantle's roommate. I talked about that before. And here's the uh, signed uh, piece from the 1952 Yankees on uh, the Sereno Hotel Stationery, which is where the Yankees stayed during spring training. There's a 1952 signature of Mickey Mantle. So this would have been signed in March of 1952. There's the patch, the team, the other patch. Uh, the patch here is, this is the patch they wore on their uniforms that year. I've talked about that before. You can see the patch right there on the sleeve of uh, Bill Dickey. There's Casey. Saw Mickey in the back. Close up of Archie. There's the envelope. So just a really cool piece. So I just want to uh, thank everybody for taking the time to stop in and look at the room with me. Um, and just, uh, like I said, I really enjoy um, doing the cards in here and displaying them. And it's just a place where I can really let my creativity as a collector take place in this room. So everybody have a great day and uh, I'll talk to you again soon.